This is Kai Fu Li. He is one of the most influential AI experts and businessmen. He worked from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and six days a week. And even after his marvelous achievements in the field of AI, he said this. And to this date, I am so sorry for letting my work ethic take precedence over love for my family. According to him, we should work along with AI other than competing against it so that we can make our work and life much easier and can achieve a greater level of work-life balance. In the case of low-skilled jobs, AI is taking over many jobs and causing unemployment, but it's from the perspective of an employee. When we take the perspective of a consumer, new technologies do not just replace labor with machines, but in a competitive market, automation will reduce prices. Automation will lead to higher efficiency and fewer errors. The decrease in manufacturing cost is the drive for automation and also increased efficiency. While AI and automation can augment the productivity of some workers, they can replace the work done by others. According to McKinsey Global Institute, 45 million Americans, which is one quarter of the workforce, would lose their jobs to automation by 2030. Companies like Amazon say they are deploying robots to work among workers and not to replace humans, but do you think so? For instance, Xiaomi is planning on building a new next-generation intelligent factory. This factory will be completely unmanned and automated and will be tasked with producing over 10 million smartphones every year and reducing manufacturing cost to one-tenth of the present level. AI will likely transform almost all occupations at least to some degree, which means AI won't replace every job, but it might work with employees to increase productivity and efficiency. AI has the potential to reshape skill demands, career opportunities, and the distribution of workers among industries and occupations in the United States and in other countries. AIs entering the marketplace will also remove the remedial day-to-day -day tasks and let people work on the things that matter. We can use AI to eliminate dull times and place greater human attention on those things that matter. We can perfect their roles in certain areas. It is the elimination of simple tasks. It is more quality time spent doing the things that matter. Some jobs will be gone, but new ones will also be created. People are still the best at being people. This is both good and valuable. It sets the parameters around the human entity. While AI will radically alter how work gets done and who does it, the technology's larger impact will be in complementing and augmenting human capabilities, not replacing them. In Accenture's research involving 1,500 companies, they found that firms achieved the most significant performance improvements when humans and machines work together. What comes naturally to people like making a joke can be tricky for machines, and what's straightforward for machines like analyzing gigabytes of data remains virtually impossible for humans. Business requires both kinds of capabilities. Consider Microsoft's AI assistant, Cordna. The bot required extensive training to develop just the right personality. Confident, caring, and helpful, but not bossy. Instilling those qualities took countless hours of attention by a team that included a poet, a novelist, and a playwright. Similarly, human trainers were needed to develop the personalities of Apple's Siri and Amazon's Alexa to ensure that they accurately reflected their company's brands. Siri, for example, has just a touch of sassiness, as consumers might expect from Apple. Artificial intelligence can boost our analytic and decision-making abilities by providing the right information at the right time. But it can also heighten creativity. Consider how Autodesk's Dreamcatcher enhances the imagination of even exceptional designers. A designer provides Dreamcatcher with criteria about the desired product and Dreamcatcher then churns out thousands of designs that match those criteria, often sparking ideas that the designer might not have initially considered. The designer can then guide the software telling it which design he likes or doesn't, leading to a new round of designs. Smart machines are helping humans expand their abilities in three ways. They can amplify our cognitive strengths, interact with customers and employees to free us for higher-level tasks, and embody human skills to extend our physical capabilities. For example, during disaster response, human-machine teams can work collaboratively to save more lives and restore more material. Numerous autonomous systems work along with humans to search for survivors, move rubble, and deliver medical treatment. Intelligence-enhanced systems in such teams would be able to respond to new in the environment and learn from their interactions with human collaborators through experience. Financial services firms and banks successfully use a mixture of AI and human work to combat financial crime. While AI and machine learning algorithms fuel software that flags potential fraud, humans validate such choices. 
The eye saves time for anti-money laundering professionals and captures complex transactional patterns people would likely overlook. Compliance experts can then manually consider the broader context of each payment to root out false positives. Almost every writer or content creator, including me, has the Grammarly widget downloaded to their computer. This is the perfect example of AI and humans working together to finish projects promptly. Basic autocorrect saves writers so much time and error when quickly writing to meet deadlines. AI technology has been used in the healthcare system for decades, saving costs and lives. From assisting surgeons with surgery to performing lab tasks, AI is found in every sector of the industry. Doctors use technology for the early detection of diseases so they can be treated before they become life-threatening. As AI in healthcare continues to advance, those who don't embrace the technology will get left behind. AI can create a unique educational path for each student, which is far beyond the capabilities of any educational institution today. For education, this use of AI actually sounds great. Students can take a path suited to them, driven by their curiosity and move down it at their own pace. With AI in the mix, the teacher's role is necessary because the presentation of new information is always met with resistance by a learner, and students handle the moment in various ways. The teacher becomes the student's guide to instill discipline when approaching new topics. These are the bright sides of AI. I just want you to understand why AI is being praised in industries. This does not mean AI doesn't have any dark sides. If you are interested, then I will make a video about that too. Just let me know in the comments section. So, if you think the advantages of artificial intelligence outweigh the disadvantages, then artificial intelligence is the biggest gift to humanity. If you watched this far, a like will be appreciated. Thank you.